Alright, hi friends! It is me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing my February TBR. So, normally I would do my TBR jar, um, but for this month, I actually just decided to kind of um, finish up my winter TBR because I've actually been doing really good with that. And also, uh, just pick up some books that I've been, like, feeling like reading, if that makes sense. Or kind of, I guess, mood reading a bit in this, in this month. The first book I would like to read in February is Declarations of the Rights of the Magicians by H.G. Perry. This is a book Cell has been raving about to me for forever. And so I want to go ahead and give it a try. I have the audiobook, so I'm definitely going to be reading it that way because this is a chunker. Uh, but this was also on my winter TBR as I think of a book a friend has loved. or No, it was a book published in 2020. And so this is a book that was published in 2020. I guess that's when it came out. So this is, I figured it would be a good pick for this. So I'm definitely going to try and give this a good old uh, read through and see how I feel. I'm really hoping I like it because Cell loved it. And typically we kind of have the same opinions on books sometimes, especially fantasy books. So I'm definitely intrigued to see what I feel. The next book I have is going to be my buzzword book for February. Um, I think the buzzword is verbs or like, a title with verbs in it or whatever. So the book I chose was Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun by El Casamano. So this is the um, last book in the Finley Donovan, I guess it's a trilogy, um, and it's finishing up the entire uh, story. And so I'm really excited to check this out. I really enjoyed the first two books. I thought they were funny and hilarious and definitely intriguing in regards to how the mystery went about. Um, so I'm definitely excited to jump back in and see how they, how this story ends and how these characters end. Um, I'm really excited to see the, the team of her and her nanny again because they're such a funny dynamic duo um, and I'm really really excited. So I also got the audiobook rubbed, uh, ready to go for this as well so definitely hoping I love it like I did the other two. Next um, I have Soul Eater Volume 1. This was on my Rinter TBR as like read a manga and so technically I was going to try and read this last month. But uh, I couldn't find my first volume <laughs> for a bit, um, and I finally found it actually at the end of the month. So I figured this would be a good time to pull it out and give it a good old try. These are the special, like I think these are the the special editions, like the anniversary editions they've come out with. Um, and I really loved the anime when I watched it like years and years ago. So I definitely want to get back into the manga and just see how it ends. Because I never actually, I think, got to the end of the series. So... Next, I have Marked by PC and Kristen Cass. This is the first book in the House of Night series. This is actually a bind-up of the first two books, um, but I'm only going to be doing the first book. Me and Cell decided that we wanted to binge read and buddy read the entire series this year, and there's 12 books, so 12 books, 12 months in the year, and we figured it would be a, a fun time to give it a try and see what happens. The amount of times I've tried to restart this series and I failed have been astronomical. So, I think this is going to be my final try to see if I can really get into this series or not. I, to be honest, I've already started book one and the audiobook is not that long so I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get through this really, really quick. But I'm really hyped for it. So, um, this follows a girl who lives in a world where vampires exist. But it's not like the sparkly kind of vampires. It's the kind where... Um, you basically like get sick and then you get marked with something like a mark on your forehead, some type of symbol. And so when that happens, you have like a, like a certain amount of time to get to a vampire school where they like train you to be a vampire, um, or you die. And so, um, the catch is though that like you could still die in the process as you're becoming and transforming into a vampire. Um, but they're hoping, they hope that like if you go through the training it'll prevent that or whatever. But so it follows this girl, um, Zoe, who like hates her family because her mom remarried this big time conservative jerk. And then she's um, 
dealing with like boy issues and then she gets marked so she has to go to this school and kind of readjust her whole life and figure out how she's going to survive as a vampire now and she meets like a whole squad of friends to help her through it and that's just kind of all I remember and it's very uh, I will say I was I first tried to start reading this when I was like 12 this series is probably not for like anybody under like 15 I will just say that because uh it's very like there are some sexual elements in it but it's just very kind of different <laughs> it's not twilight so i'll give you that but i'm definitely intrigued to, uh, to like start this over and see how i feel because i mean this series lasted so long so someone must have thought it was good for a reason so i'm definitely gonna get it, give it a try i don't know if i should vlog it or not because I just don't know but maybe I will maybe I won't I haven't decided yet so then the next book I want to try is Beasts of Ruin by Ayana Gray um, I believe this is a winter TBR pick that I pulled I think I don't remember but I'm trying to be better about sequels so I definitely want to uh, pick this up I meant to read it last year and then I didn't so I definitely want to go ahead and try and read it this year and see if I like it because I really like the first book so I want to see how the second book goes I think I can't remember if this is the last book in the if this is a duology or if it's gonna be a trilogy or whatever but I at least want to just catch up I guess the next two books I want to read so I started rereading Legendborn last year and it didn't go badly the problem was I was listening to the audio because I was like oh let me try that and to be honest the audio is kind of tough because the the southern accents are really throwing me off and they're like kind of terrible so I might just have to pick this up physically and reread it so once I do that because I need I definitely think I need a refresher on everything that happened um my goal is to read bookmark blood marked because uh I've had this for a few months now and I have not read it and I need to read it before somebody spoils it because I sense that's going to probably happen at some point. So I want to go ahead and, and get to it and see what happens next. I think I'm just nervous because I loved the first one so much that I'm like if this one does not live up to the expectations I'm going to be definitely disappointed. So I think that's my issue. <laughs> then the next book I have is The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk. This is definitely a winter DBR pick that I picked up I can't remember what prompt it was for but I'm really excited um this cover is so gorgeous I've been I think I bought this like a year ago so I've been really meaning to get to it and I think Cell read this and enjoyed it so that kind of gave me a little bit more confidence in the story but to be honest I don't remember what this is necessarily about I think it's a historical fantasy so we're just gonna go with that and hope for the best <laughs> And then the last book I have on my list, and this is the Fairy Loot edition, so that's why the cover is not on here, is A Monster Born and Made by Tanvi Burwa. Um, this book sounded really interesting to me when I first heard about it. I'm going to be honest, I'm blinking on the, on the synopsis right now, though. Um, but I've been really wanting to read this for a bit and so I think that I also pulled this for my winter TBR and I figured this would be the best time as I need to read it um, and I'm definitely looking forward to giving it a try I have the audio ready to go as well so here's the hope and it's good and then the other books I'm probably going to try and get to this month is the last book in the Throne of Glass series which is Kingdom of Ash I'm finally at the end of my read through of this entire series give me some applause because I did not think I would make it through it but I really stuck to it even if it wasn't like in a timely manner I still managed to get through the majority of the books so we love that for me and then once I finish that I can finally jump to Akatar <laughs> and start that series so then I'll officially be caught up on all of Sarah J Moss's series and bruh that's that's just amazing to me I'm just so excited to be done <laughs> and then the other thing that I'm going to probably be reading through is so December of last year Monet and Cell convinced me to read The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell so that was a buddy read it kind of fell through but I finished and I thought it was okay so then we we're supposed to be reading the second book The Devil's Thrift together this past month in January and the buddy read fell through but I finished 
So at this point, this is just me reading through the series and catching up to the fourth book and them just doing whatever they need to do. So for the last, for this February, I'm probably going to try and pick up the third book in the series, which I don't even, rem I don't even remember the name or anything of, but I'll put a picture up here. Um, so I'm probably going to try and read that at some point uh, this month. I already finished book two this month, so I'm trying to decide if I, like, want to give it a little bit of time and then start book three maybe like at the end of this month or something but that's just on my radar of potential um readers that i'm gonna do so that is my february tbr um thank you all for being patient with me as i've gone through this weird hiatus i'm working on it okay i'm trying to come up with some semblance of balance of working and doing other things while also making some time for this also my room is going through a remodel so i it's just kind of a mess and my brain is just chaotic all the time so we're just working on it we're working on it okay so i'm uh excited to be reading these books i'm excited to hopefully be posting some videos again i'm gonna say i do have some end of year videos that i'm gonna be posting <laughs> soon I have them filmed and ready to go. I just got to edit them and they're really long to edit. So that's where my struggle is right now is just finding the time to sit down and go through it. Also the motivation to sit down and go through it. So we're working on it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those in the comment section before me. Let me know what books you're going to be trying to read in February. Um, let me know maybe like some favorites that you read in January because uh, I nosy and I want to know. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You're all sunflowers and wonderful. Oh, okay. Bye.